It's time for Wisdom 31. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day to you. My name is Alan Gray, and I have the privilege of pastoring iChurch DMV, a local congregation here in our nation's capital, and it is a privilege to welcome you to our fall semester of Wisdom 31, a 31-day devotional through the book of Proverbs where we go a chapter a day. Today is day 10, so we'll be in chapter 10. I'm excited about today because today's study comes from my wife, Monica Gray. Here's what she has to say. Chapter 10 of the book of Proverbs in her study Bible um, is titled, The Contrast Between the Wise and the Foolish. And the contrasts illustrated are blunt. Um, some um, serve as um, absolutes and others are just stunning. Like verse three, the Lord will not let the righteous go hungry, but he denies the wicked what they crave. Or verse 14, the wise store up knowledge, but the mouth of the fool hastens destruction. Or how about verse 31? The mouth of the righteous produce wisdom, but the perverse tongue will be cut out. <laughs> oh my. Showing us repeatedly that wisdom and righteousness are not are what we should be striving for and working on. Verse 12 of chapter 10 that she really focuses in on. Hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers all offenses. The message version of the text says, hatred starts fights, but love pulls a quilt over the brickening. Hatred and hostility have become like a fog cloud that hovers in the atmosphere of our context and our culture lately. Whole groups of people are being judged, biased against, targeted, threatened, separated, and slain under the cloud of hatred and hostility because of their skin color or religious affiliations, maybe their political parties, or their point of view, maybe their economic status, or the country of their origin. Today, October 10th, people right now are still so wrapped up in hating others that it's causing the continuum of conflict all over the world. Hatred insists on being right and getting even. The focus is on a personal hurt or um, rights that feel like they've been violated or expectations that are not being met. Anger and malice seem to be growing and feeling or feeding revenge and fueling conflict. But what does the rest of verse 12 say? Love covers all offenses. Love parses out. Love liberates. Love releases, love absorbs all, not some, but all offenses, all faults, all trespasses, all transgressions, all hurts, all wrongs and sins. Love covers all. Love covers all by forgiving. Forgiveness is huge in combating hate. Forgiveness is not conditional. Depending on someone else's response, forgiveness is not concerned. Forgiveness is not forgetting what happened. It's learning from it and being better because of it. When you forgive, you are not helping someone avoid consequences for the wrong that they did, but you are pulling out a quilt and covering up that burning er er anger. You're choosing to value the person and the relationship. And there is no more beautiful depiction of this covering by love than the atonement of Christ, who covered the sins of the world through his death on the cross for the people who did not deserve it, who could not earn it, who didn't even ask for it, yet are reaping the benefit of it. So the wisdom key for today is, don't let hate prevail. Love, cover, forgive, be wise.